Fight number five coming your way. New York, New York, Dennis Burgos. Five years of service at NYPD. Coming in some rock music. Some heavy rock. Yeah. So I much that Pandora's, I mean, my uh, Shazam is saying, nope, I don't <laughs> yeah. recognize that one. <laughs> yeah. LAPD and NYPD, but now it's Pasadena Police against New York Police Department. But Brian Petrella got some New York roots. That's where he's from. Megatron is his nickname. No, Calvin Johnson, you can't use it. <laughs> you decided to retire. I like it. Got that stone face going on. Now the moment of truth is almost upon both of these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth fight of the evening will feature three two-minute rounds of light heavyweight action. At the sound of the bell, referee in charge of the action, Mr. Rudy Berrigan. Sure. Introducing first the fighter to my left, fighting out of the blue corner wearing the blue and white trunks. He weighed in at 175 pounds and has a winning four and two record. Representing the NYPD's first precinct, he is Dennis Bang Bang Burgos. And introducing the fighter to my right, fighting out of the red corner and wearing the black trunks. Weighing in at a fit and ready, 176 pounds, he has a seasoned two and six record. Representing the Pasadena Police Department, the man they call Megatron, Brian Petrella. Center ring, guys. Center Everything is good over here, okay? Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. You got it? Touch gloves. Come out of the bell. Rudy Barragan with the instructions. Get ready to go. Light heavyweight division. Three rounds of action, Doug. And Burgos is 10 years younger at age 28. Petrella is one inch taller, and he has a decided reach advantage. Here you see Petrella in all black. 38 years old, they touch gloves. Three rounds, two minutes of action. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, and Steve Kim. See if these fights end up in Dougie's mailbag on Monday morning. <laughs> Gotta be a reference to it at least. I hope so. I'm gonna email you. What is that email for Dougie's mailbag? That is uh, Dougie at boxingmailbag.com. Make sure you put in the subject line. You will not read this. You're a hater and <laughs> it will get read. Brian Petrella, two and six, 11 years of service with the Pasadena Police Department. Been competing in boxing for five years. Dennis Burgos in the white, New York, New York. Five years in the NYPD, currently in the first precinct in downtown Manhattan. Describe his, his boxing style, Burgos said, brawler. Like that, better than boxer puncher. Yeah, right. Well, brawler. Got the look for it, got the build and the look. Body work from Burgos. Neither man really doing anything from the outside. They're comfortable and close. What size gloves do they use? Do you know for amateurs? They look bigger than 16. 10, so let's put yeah, it that Yeah, they look way. like 12, in, uh, 12? 12 ounce gloves to me. Or maybe just because they're white and they look that big. You know, and that's another adjustment young pros have to make, literally going from those big puffy gloves, not only with the headgear, uh, but also with those small 10 to 8 ounce gloves. That's a great point. Final seconds of the opening round, scheduled for three, a sold out Belasco Theater, LA Fight Club in downtown LA.
Go the more boxing on Ring TV Live brought to you by the Ring TV app. Download the all new Ring TV app today for exclusive videos and articles from the Bible of Boxing. Download from the App Store today. Back inside the Belasco Theater, our fifth fight of the night, amateur version. There are seven total featuring law enforcement from LA and New York on this 4th of July weekend with all most of the benefits going to the Susan G. Komen Foundation for Cancer Research. Brian Petrella, 38 year old, originally from New York, now serving the Pasadena Police Department for the last 11 years. He's in all black. Body shot landed by his opponent, Virgil's in the white. Let's just stand there and trade, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, there that you seems go. to be the, uh, the silent agreement between these two guys. Makes it kind of difficult to score. It's kind of hard to see who's really landing the clean punches. Well, that was a nice right hand landed by uh, Burgos. Gotta be cool though, if you're a fighter from New York. Like, okay, this week I'm flying. <laughs> right. I got a flight, I got a hotel. I, just got, I gotta be around my weight. I don't have to be really on weight. Right, right. <laughs> Take part in a, a press conference and that's weigh right. in that's streamed live. Giving quotes. It's cool. And I know that in the past, the, this boxing league, LAPD fighters have gone to New York for it. So for Ring TV to stream all seven fights, pretty cool. Guys get a chance to. Usually it's like, oh, I'm gonna fight my friends. Let me get my phone out, record it for you. Right, exactly. <laughs> How greedy is yeah, that? Yeah, these guys can go to the, the Golden Boy Promotions YouTube channel and their fights are all gonna be broken out. You know, uh, individual videos with just these three rounds on there. With the uh, Ring TV Live's graphics and everything. But for those and of, of you, course, our commentary. Yeah, How about that? Exactly. <laughs> for those of you fighter or police officers who are gonna be fighting in the future, Make sure to give Will Wright all the good information because we will read it verbatim. So if you want to say your name's Megatron or Bang Bang, boom, <laughs> we will say that. We're good with that. We're done with two here at the Belasco in downtown LA. Guys exchange jabs. Nice right hand landed by Burgos. Docile for position on the inside. Scored that round for Burgos. I like the body punching, Steve. I thought Burgos won the round, and I thought he was the cleaner puncher, and I also thought he was the active guy. I think if there's a guy landing more leather cleanly, it is certainly the guy in the blue corner. Bang, bang, Burgos. Did you score round one for Burgos yes, as well? Yes, I did. So did I. I wasn't quite sure. But I feel better about it now. Third and final round, two minutes to go. Bryant Petrella, all black. Dennis Burgos in the white out of New York, New York. The shot landed by Petrella, who was born in New York. Body work for Petrella. Body work from Burgos. Hey, everybody in the audience is giving them instructions, but they're in the rings like, let me, let me try to breathe right now. Yeah, this has been a physical fight. For yeah. So these guys are feeling the burn of fatigue. Here's what the police department do for a career, the stress with that job, a chance to come out and represent your department, something for charity, very cool. It is Burgos though with the smoother, cleaner punching though. You can see Petrella is well built, but he's just a little bit stiffer than Burgos. And you see on the, when he they're pushes, on, he pushes right. his punches more. And so yeah. when they're on the inside, you can see it is Burgos who gets off a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, and much more accurately. It lets his hands go without any sort of resistance. Also knows when just to kind of walk around and give himself some um, some breathing space. 
And then he resets and goes back on the attack. And Petrello's always waiting for him. He's yeah. kind of like, bring it, you know. <laughs> I like these exchanges, you know. He doesn't shy away from that, but at the same time, he doesn't go out and get Burgos, which is why, in my opinion, Burgos has been in command. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Been a tough one between Petrella and Burgos. Big boy. Go three. Good inside work from both fighters. The cleaner shots were landed by Burgos. And I thought the better body attack was from Burgos. That was a nice one-two combination from the New York fighter. That was a nice right to the body. Covered up well, as did Petrella. It was game throughout. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, your judges have rendered a unanimous decision. All three judges see the bout 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, representing the NYPD's first precinct, Dennis Bang Bang Burgos. A shout out for Dennis Burgos. First precinct in downtown Manhattan, NYPD. Improves a five and two in his amateur career. Not bad for just a brawler. It was a good fight. You know, it's a good yeah. mix of styles, and both guys came out there and gave it their best. I got to give all these participants a lot of credit. Let me tell you something. To go out there in front of people, you know, Doug. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I sparred. Uh, and this is just in front of a couple of people in, at the wild card. It is scary. Oh, let, me, yeah. let me tell you something. And this is why my nose looks this way. But oh, okay. I mean, just, yeah, right. To actually do it uh, the way yeah. these guys are doing it for a very good cause in front of a live audience. Thumbs up to all of these guys. Just having enough guts to get in there. I concur. 